Hello, I'm Renee Yager, Director of Marketing for Efficient Power Conversion. In this presentation, we discuss the benefits of using EGAN FETs for Class D audio amplifier applications. Results from a demonstration system will also be presented. The advantage of gallium nitride power transistors starts with superior conduction characteristics that allow for a much smaller chip for the same on resistance. The smaller device and lateral structure of the GAN FET give much lower capacitances and charges for the same RDS on. QGD, which determines classic switching loss, is one fifth to one tenth of a MOSFET with similar on resistance. QOSS is half of that of a MOSFET with similar RDS on. In terms of reverse recovery, there are no minority carriers in the GAN FET, therefore no stored charge and zero QRR. Inductance has become a dominating contributor to switching performance. The small, wide, chip scale package of EPC's EGAN FETs give very low inductance. When compared with MOSFETs, the superior figures of merit for EGAN FET devices result in a significant efficiency increase. This can be taken as a straight efficiency benefit, increased output current, or increased frequency to reduce size and cost. For more background on EPC's EGAN technology, please visit the GAN library on our website at epc-co.com, where you'll find a vast collection of information on GAN fundamentals and practical application. Now we'll look at the specific benefits that EGAN FETs bring to Class D audio amplifier applications. Class D audio systems are similar to switch mode power supplies operating at 50% duty cycle. In these systems, the audio performance is impacted by the FET characteristics. Just like the MOSFETs used in traditional Class D audio systems, the RDS on and QG of the EGAN FET directly influence the efficiency. The on resistance and gate charge not only influence the efficiency, it also has a major impact on the sound quality. There are two types of audio distortions. First, transient intermodulation distortion due to frequencies not present in the original music. TIMD is mainly due to time delays in the feedback due to high open loop impedance from the higher on resistance and gate charge of silicon MOSFETs. The low on resistance and capacitance of the EGAN FETs enable high efficiency and low transient intermodulation distortion in Class D systems. Next, total harmonic distortion can also be lowered in EGAN FET based Class D systems. In silicon MOSFET systems, reverse recovery time adds to dead time and noise which cause distortion in the output waveform. With power MOSFETs, higher open loop impedance and longer dead time calls for excessive feedback to improve audio performance. Excessive feedback limits the bandwidth and introduces intermodulation distortion and low dynamic response. EGAN FETs can switch very quickly and have zero reverse recovery. High output linearity and low crossover distortion result in t lower total harmonic distortion for EGAN FET-based Class D audio systems. To demonstrate, we have the EPC9106 demonstration board. This is a reference design for a 150 watt 8 ohm Class D audio amplifier. The demonstration board uses a bridge tied load design composed of four ground reference half bridge output stages. This architecture and topology allows scalability and expandability. The EPC9106 demonstration board features the 100 volt EPC2016 EGAN FET switching at 440 kilohertz. The EGAN FET enables a very small efficient power stage as you can see on the bottom left of this slide. Lower on resistance and gate charge offers lower losses allowing for total elimination of the heatsink in many cases. This system is capable of 250 watts into a 4 ohm load at 440 kilohertz without a heat sink. Now let's look at the performance. The EPC9106 reference design has demonstrated 96% efficiency at 150 watt 8 ohms and 92% efficiency at 250 watt 4 ohms. All elements that can impact the sonic performance of Class D audio systems are minimized or eliminated in an EGAN FET based system. The audio performance of this board puts it in the prosumer category. For more details on the EPC9106 reference design, please go to epc-co.com, where we provide the quick start guide, schematic, bill of materials, 
and Gerber files for download. To hear the EPC 9106 system in action, please click on the link shown here. Thank you. To join our mailing list for updates on EPC news and product introductions, please scan the QR code on this slide. For more information, please visit us at www.epc-co.com.